All right, let's do this video for the second time and let's do it in order because I didn't do it in order. All right, so this morning I woke up and it was a pretty average warning for my weekends. I didn't do a lot. I think I watched a movie and played some video games and watched some YouTube and stuff. The typical morning I would do, just keeping my brain semi-occupied. It was all right, you know. I was then cooking some lunch, which was a beautiful chicken burger. I made one and I scoffed it down. And just as I was about to scoff down the second one, I got a phone call from my R1 friend being like, Hey, I got this metal lathe. It's really heavy. Can you pop over and help me and my father maneuver it around and, you know, get it off the ute, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. So, um, that's what I did. I, woke, I went over to his house. I scoffed the burger down and helped him. And then I left because he had the shower and freshen up and shit and um then i said look i'll come back in like an hour or whatever he's like yeah man okay to work on the bike because the bike had that weird vibration you know turns out we we did do the nut and we did that up and everything made it all nice we used a jack and lift up the front and did it all nice um and then he realized that i think the problem because once we had the front wheel off the ground it was always going to the right always going to the right you know and we thought hmm and Nick thought that um, it was from the cables so we took the bike apart reworked all my cables when I mean all my cables I mean my throttle cables and my clutch cables because they were in spots where they were like stupidly bent like this and they're pretty sort of it's sort of wire so they're spring loaded if that makes sense but once we re reworked the path of the cords to a more suitable path the vibration stopped because it's not fighting it anymore which is great bloody great so it is seriously a problem i could have fixed probably a week ago and technically i didn't even need his help however his brains found the solution and helped. I think there's a guy in there. What's he doing? He's on the boat. He's working on the boat. Um, so, I don't know, I can't thank him enough because he did find a solution and fixed it. But I'm stupid that that solution even... I'm stupid that the, the problem was even there in the first place. Also, he's a little bit sick. So, he's got like a sticky nose and stuff due to... I don't know, just the damn flu, I guess. So, um, it shouldn't, I guess, have been helping me because it was night time. It, well, it was getting night time and getting colder and colder by the minute. But he was a good mate, you know, he thought it'd be the best thing to do. So he did, he helped me, and it was awesome. And we got the job done. I left the bike at his house because, well, because it wouldn't have made a difference whether it was at my house or his. and. I still got to do a few things like wire up the headlights and all that sort of shit. Um, so the bike's at his house. It is 10 degrees. There you go. 10 degrees right now. It's not too bad. About normal. 716. 191600. So yeah. Um, I went for a walk to Metro, the, uh, well I call it the Pufters Bar, because that's all that are there now, just trans, Pufters, gays, it's, 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 it's like a, a trans bar, but there's got to be live music there, but I was too early, um, so there was no music, so I'm walking home. So yeah, um, that's all. Yep, that's all I suppose. So yeah.